All right, so Daniel is going to demonstrate some wall kicking techniques right now. So we're going to just start off with roundhouse kick. She's going to really emphasize her chamber. Her toes pointed down, knee up nice and high. She's going to start off nice and slow with her roundhouse kick. Let those kicking muscles burn. And then we can pick it up and start snapping them out a little faster if we want. And then we can build high speed. Good stop. Then we can switch off to our side kick. We have both legs too. We can alternate back and forth. Side kick really emphasizing having our knee up nice and high. For point fighters, turn that foot out a little more. So if they blitz you, they run directly into the heel. I can't get past that. Now she can snap out her side kick nice and slow. Nice and high on the re-chamber. And then we can pick it up, throw it a little faster, etc. Good stop. Now we got that same chamber, we're just throwing our hook kick. So we'll snap that out for 10. Knee up nice and high, snap our hook kick, end up in a roundhouse kick chamber. And then we can add on and do our hook round. Hook round, hook round. Good, awesome. Your leg will be burning, but we can alternate all these kicks. We can go high low with the roundhouse kicks. Go high low with the roundhouse kicks for me. That's there we go. Good. Just changing levels. Low, high, low, belly, head. Low, belly, head. High, low, high, low. Awesome. So hit your pyramid kicks. Get your kicking muscles burning. Emphasize your foot positioning. And then when you're doing them sitting down, really emphasize your foot positioning. Because when you have to worry about balance and an opponent in front of you moving and adjusting, it's a lot harder to make sure that we're doing all the little things perfect. So do them perfect right now so that way we build good habits and we do it instinctually.